Hey everyone, Mad Lord here. It's a little bit different with the Oblis streaming since we couldn't, um, since we couldn't get a time to agree on. So what we did this time around was get everyone to play their top four matches and then get me to have the replay sent over. So yeah, um, today I am covering Oblis Ten. Um, I'm gonna start from losers bracket first. So it'll be Blade versus Ghost Rider. Then it'll be Lucas versus George, um, then Lucas versus Blave, and then the grand finals. So, yeah, it'll be slightly different. I won't be able to play this in live time because it'll take quite a few hours. So, yeah, let's crack on. So, um, Ghost Rider won the rock, paper, scissors. Uh, oops, I don't want to do that. Oopsie. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure to do that, so... Ghost Rider just says everything, passes turn. And the Thunder Dragon start. Matching the three sets with three sets of his own. And so it's gonna get flipped up. So it'll get the other copy and wow well, okay Suki comes down sets the one that's just summoned okay I'm gonna set that one wow okay Jar of Greed another one Wow, so yeah, that for me is suggesting the chaos is coming down. Not got anything good to set, but let's see. So Ghost Rider flips job greed of his own. And follows up with upstart to thin the deck even more. Swing for 24. Suki's gonna come down and set the spy. And Heavy Storm comes down, but Jar of Greed is going to bait up one of them. And BLS comes down to banish the set. Attack of the set monster. But both gets back pot. Yep. Solemn of his own, wow, yeah, expected. Just calling two Thunder Dragons. So, how many spies? So, yeah, so that's. Yeah, we saw one magician from earlier. But Ghost Rider managed to banish all of his copies. So no light in the graveyard for Ghost Rider yet. Wall up. I would expect that to be a set Sukiyomi. And the morphing jar comes down well. I really like morphing jar in Chaos Turbo, but it's one of those cards which could backfire in the middle match if you're not careful, so I think that's one of the reasons why people cut it, but in this situation Ghost Rider got a got a new hand. So yeah, he's looking pretty good and that's probably um Blaze's last Chaos Monster that got sent to the graveyard, but let's see. Surely Ghost Rider's got to have a have a light. Wow, okay. So Ghost Rider is respecting those back rows. 
and the bear's, a, bear's BLS gets targeted for ring to agree to a draw, and we have a fresh rock, paper, scissors. So, um, let's see who this, yeah, so, Blade wins the rock, paper, scissors, go, go and start again, and opens Thunder Dragon. Upstart is going to come down. And Dash is going to get flipped straight away. So I will, I will reveal Ghost Rider's hand, which is Magician, Regeki Break, Upstart, Child Greed, Regeki Break, Night Assailant. So yeah, it makes sense to shuffle away the Magician to stop to stop the magician from getting back upstart goblin and thinning the deck more. So let's see what ghost goes. I don't expect Ghost Rider to set the nice silence, but yeah, and he picks up a breaker from the top. So yeah, Regeki Break, Regeki Break, Night Silent, Jar of Greed. So Sukiyomi is going to if play by the Chaos Monster, he can banish your breaker and then set the Chaos Monster with Sukiyomi to play around Chaos Sorcerer and Snatch Steel. But nope, he's going to make the simple play, run over Breaker, no, knowing that Ghost Rider can't really do much. He does pick up Thunder Dragon. So the only card we don't know in the hand is the card he drew, drew before. Yeah, we don't know one of the cards. Let's see, he's not drawn. We don't know what was drawn off Jar of Greed. Um, Blave is going to bait out the Regeki Break. T set. Um, I'd be a bit surprised if that was the nice thing, but it is the nice thing. And there comes the Sorcerer, and Sukiyomi is going to come into play next and set the Kill Sorcerer, and that's it. End of turn. But BLS is going to come down, which is going to get negated by some judgment. Wow. So, yep. There are no more darks in Ghost Rider's graveyard. The two darks that he probably wanted to get to the graveyard got hit by um, Nobomil Crossout. So now Ghost Rider is in top deck mode. He's still got the Thunder Dragon in hand. And this card is just set. No woman. Um, yeah, not really much in either players. Graveyard for a magician to pick up, but. And that's going to end the turn for Ghost Rider. But he picks up the Pot of Greed, which is going to get him two fresh cards. And MST is going to stop Jar of Greed from activating the following turn. And there's Jar of Greed from Ghost Rider. Can set his hand knowing that Nobleman's not going to hit that set card anytime soon. Now that all the copies of Magician Faith and Nobleman are gone. And Ghost Rider flips, flips Nobleman. And he has sided up Nobleman. Ghost Rider has appeared to side out, sided out his decoy trees. Just past 10. Yeah, not much you can do in this. 
but that charity pickup is going to pitch a thunder dragon and something else and he draws a serpent off the charity and let's see what delinquent duel is going to hit it's going to hit the bls wow yeah i think yeah so Ghost Rider not taking any chances, negating negating charity, which will keep keep that Thunder Dragon in in Blade's hand. And I expect Blade to just pass 10 here. So both players do not have BLS. Sukiyomi has baited out the Magaki break. And Tribe is going to come down and swing for 16. Up so that's going to go through. Tribute set for Thunder Dragon. Yep, up so that's going to get. But Ghost Rider is looking awfully thin at the moment. Eight cards left, so Brave can just stall it out. If, if he chooses to do so. Um, what's Ghost Rider got left? He's used, he lost the BLS to Solemn. He's still got two Chaos Sorcerers. Does he have any any darks? Not right now. And he doesn't have a way to get a dark into a graveyard outside of the Bogeki break. Is he gonna flip the torrential here? Ah, yeah, okay, fine, fair enough. Bogeki break is going to Force out, force Blade to discard the trap dust shoot to stop the snatch from going through. So that's going to get the dark engrave. Can let's see, Milf. Yeah, so here's the awkward bit. Does does Lab have the torrential tribute or the Milf force? Wow, he picks up the chaos force. Right? Does he? Does it get negated? Ooh, Solemn Wars. And yeah, Ghost Rider has no way. I don't believe Ghost Rider has any way of dealing with with the board. So he just flips Jar of Greed knowing that he would have lost anyway. So yeah, so that's the game to Lave. Dragon pick up Pot of Greed is going to uh, Ghost Rider is off to a seriously good start with Knight is getting back a flip and uh, ah I mean I just you'd think it'd be Gravekeeper Spy but I wouldn't be surprised if I mean it's a bit risky to set the Magician but if you're confident that your opponent's not reading your set card as the spy that you return to hand off nice then fair play um they've had thunder dragons of his own and he doesn't get off to as good a start just selling two cards and seeing how ghost is going to react and there's the magician of faith which is going to discard those thunder dragons Well, since this happened, and Suki, Sukiyomi is going to come down. And yep, Ghost Rider just setting his hand to get himself down to six cards during end phase when Sukiyomi returns to hand. So, Upstart is going to get Blade one card deep into his deck. He's, Blade is going for BLS. 
So the Song Judgment is definitely coming down here. But Ghost Rider has decided to pretty good snipe. Snipe the Ring of Destruction and that's probably the Magician which is why um, Blade scoops straight away. Yeah, so I didn't want to have to show this but yeah, I get I guess this might be a magician. So so far the game has gone on if it was in real time it would have been almost one hour in, so that's why I have had to speed it up. So play setting three back rows to play a set monster, one of which is trap dust shoot and Breaker is going to get returned, which I think does make sense. Thunder Dragon, Nobleman, Double Thunder Dragon, Nobleman, Spy, and Sangen. I mean, that's pretty. That's sort of hand that you don't really want to be seeing as as the um, Chaos Turbo player, but it happens. And let's let's yeah, let's see what what play is made. So the Quirtry is going to get banished. Ghostwise is just going to go for the Thunder Dragon. Um, it could be Sangun or Spy set, but it was a Spy in the end. T set from Blaber is going to cover him for the time being, and Ghostwise goes for it, knowing that he doesn't really have much of a choice. We, the only card we don't know is the card he drew for turn. Magician's gonna get back pot and 2400 is gonna come into the board. Yeah, this. So the fresh set, the card that's drawn off the top, is going to be set. So, Blave attacking into the Breaker's Spy. Rather than crashing the bumping heads with Sangen, so that um, so that Ghost Rider doesn't get a search off his Sangen. So we're going to see that Chaos Monster, Chaos Sorcerer, which is going to get get rid of Sangen. And Solemn Judgment, as expected, is going to yeah, Solemn Judgment, as expected, is going to stop. Stop Ring of Destruction from blowing up the Chaos Monster. But which Chaos Monster is Abak and Sorcerer? Top decks a Sorcerer, but another Solemn Judgment is going to come down. Um, yeah, I think if you're if you're a Blade, you're going to be banishing the Thunder Dragon. Yeah, that's a Faith. Of course, it's a Faith. So. Yeah, Ghost Rider in a pretty rough position. I mean, he can always go um, discard Thunder Dragon to make Chaos Monster alive, but he's going to go all out attack. He's just realizing that he probably won't get another chance to use Ring. So MST is going to stop. End phase MST is going to stop the Geki Break from trying to destroy the Sorcerer. So just beat down main two set a monster, and that's going to seal the deal. So yeah, unfortunately Ghost Rider goes out, but at least he's got his world's invite. So that's that was a serp serpent heavy here. Yeah. So if I just show both hands now. Snatch Steel, yeah, Ghost Rider had it pretty rough, so yeah, not really much he could have done, but fair play to him for being able to do what he did. So, game. So, that's that gets um, Blave into Losers Finals, and the loser of this goes into Losers Finals. So, just make sure that. So, George wins the rock, paper, scissors. I always call him George since he mentioned he doesn't mind being called George, but I'll try to 
Let me see how <laughs> how to say his name properly. So reinforcement of the army is going to get Blade Knight. And unsurprisingly, Blade Knight set 5, go ahead. So now we're main phase one. Thunder Dragon is going to come down. Pot of Greed. Pretty good start. <laughs> Suki is going to eat up a back row. Oh, surprise. So, unsurprisingly, uh, Lucas is going to set three. One that's likely to be um, Dust Tornado or Mystical Space Typhoon. Probably called the Haunted Set. Uh, some co Solemn and some Battle Traps, I think. And there's one of the Dust Tornadoes which is going to hit. Middle? Which is Nobleman. And there's that Call of the Haunted. Just swing for 2000. And back up the Blade Knight. Dust is going to come down. So Thunder Dragon. If I show both hands. So. Yeah, I think. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter which one. You're probably returning Tsukiyomi. If you didn't. If you didn't stop the attack, because normally you'd, you'd stop the attack if you had something. So I reckon that Tsukiyomi is likely to be the target to be returned. And that's what exactly what happens. And Lucas is going to set a monster. Pop tries luck. Let's see. Ring of Destruction is going to come down. Unsurprising Nobleman. We know the third Tokoichi is in Lucas's hand. So, Lucas j just deciding, wow, well, there's not really anything like in Chaos Monster. Yeah, because if, if you don't do it here, then the Chaos Warrior player is going to set the card they draw. And what we have later gets picked off. So, uh, let's see what. Um, you have a Roman Blade Knight. Run over to Koichi. Wow. So Lucas is going to dig into his deck deeper, but he can't do anything, and that the Koichi is going to get run over. And what a pickup. Although, I'm a... yeah, he had to because Blade Knight won't work if you have another monster on the field. There's another Blade Knight. And that's a scoop. So yeah, not really much you can do. This is it's too small of a monster. And he's gonna get beaten to death. Yeah, so as expected. Yeah, call the one. A solemn set, which is standard for warrior players. So let's see. Drawing. Yeah. So let's see. So, jar of greed has baited that heavy storm, and um, bottomless trap hole is the other card that gets picked off. Unfortunately, that's not going to do much, and the Blade Knight is going to deal with the monster. But it's a Sangen. Dust Root is probably going to return Gravekeeper Spy. Yeah. So the hand here is Mobius, the Koichi, Spy, Faith, Breaker, and Sakuretsu Armor, which for me indicates that. One of the cards must be a way to stop the breaker from having the 50 50 chance, or just buy it more important. Yep, yeah, so which one is going to hit? He's going to hit the Solemn. Unsurprisingly, the Sakuretsu Realm is going to get. Um, You are probably going to hit the Kaiku. Oh, okay. 
take less damage. Yeah, you is correct because you got set monster. You got flip monster. So Kaku is likely to attack over the Tequachi. Uh, I would not be surprised if there's not a trap dash in which there isn't. Public Greed's going to come down. And I reckon that's going to be the faith set. So let's see if no. Yep, it's the faith. You wouldn't solemn mind control if it wasn't faith. Super loop. So, yeah, it's just. Yeah, Mobius is definitely coming down to pop the back rows. We knew they had the Mobius, and the reason the middle force got flipped is to <coughs> is to keep that tribute further on the field. So, what's the other set card? Call the Haunted. Another set monster, Premature Burial is a good top deck. We're just going to slap the Blade Knight onto the field. Yeah, so. Nobleman is going to pick up the last Equachi. No, he's still got another in deck unless he signed one up. No, he had, the, he had the second one. Yeah, he's got a second one. Excuse me. Yep, so yeah. Lucas, yeah, there's not really much Lucas could have done here, um, unless he he goes torrential and wipes his board when um, when he, because yeah, Blade Knight's definitely dealing with the core tree. So yeah, um, that is the match between in the winners bracket. So now we'll go into losers bracket again. So that would be. So that would be um, losers finals. Bring up the deck whilst that, whilst that happens. And we're going to see another Chaos Table Mill match. So let's see how this one goes. Yeah, Lucas off to a really good start. Thunder Dragon, upstart, upstart, charity, yeah. So, watch, yeah, so Lucas the Heretic is going to get sniped, but that actually gives, that actually gets the Dark Monster into Lucas's graveyard. So, so um, <clears throat> Lucas setting a card, then flipping the Magician to play around um, Trap Dash Root if it's main decked. So that's that's a really good, really nice interaction. Awareness, good awareness. So, and he said he's. I wouldn't be surprised if both players had some some sort of jar of greed war here <laughs> yeah so charity yeah lucas is just running away with it like is that's one of the things where you yeah it's, you get rewarded by taking sense sensible risks and yeah Lucas is so far into his deck that's that's what happens with Chaos Turbo just thins the deck so much get to a stage where wow he's got no spy and Sukiyomi is going to come down and set up the lock unless there is a nobleman oof so unless there's a solemn but there's a second nobleman. 
uh, Lucas has, yeah, has gone through all of his copies, and now he's going to, he's got 50-50 of completing something. But Mill Force is going to stop it. So break Lucas is top decking into breaker. Um Mill Force is gone. If I yeah, I'll probably be I'll probably be attacking here personally. Nope. Um not quite game. But Mill Force is gone. But he's good. Oh yeah, that is. No, that's not game. But but, but Blade realizes that there's not much he can do at this stage, so he just decides to screw it up. And we are now into game game two. And we're gonna see upstart again into part of greed. So people will probably on. A lot of turbo players are on the upstart plus jar greed route. The idea being that you you get into your trinity pieces faster. But double jar greed is going to bait up the heavy storm. And mind control is going to take a great keeper spy. And that's the that's one of the awkward things if you don't run spy in Chaos Turbo is that you don't really have a you can't really steal your opponent's monsters and take take advantage of the spy. So yeah, it's just it's just one of those awkward interactions when you don't run spy in Chaos Turbo. So what do I say again? Nobleman is going to banish the Kochi. And Lucas is going to suicide the Sangen. And probably get his light in Magician Faith. Yeah, because you need the light. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a tribute summon for BLS banish. But no, he just attacks and Heavy Storm is going to come back. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Spy, Heavy Storm, Snatch, Reaper. I forgot to reveal the hand, but yeah. Um, Kill Source, we got Shovel back. Set cards is Reaper, Heavy, and Snatch are in hand. And Nobleman's going to deal with the Reaper. Picks up Pot of Greed. Is he going to get hit by another Dust Shoot? Nope, he top decks the Chaos Monster. And money is on Spy being returned, banished. Breaker's going to come down. Let's see what Breaker's actually going to pick up. And hit the Solemn Judgment. But <clears throat> Snatch, Steel, Pot, and Heavy. You're probably going to play the Heavy here, unsurprisingly. Wow, he picks up a Thunder Dragon. Okay, two more copies of Thunder Dragon. Snatch Steel is going to steal to crush them. Lucas accepting that if, if Blade has a Chaos Monster, then there's not really much you can do. Uh, Wing Blast is going to stop Blade from drawing into a Chaos Monster if he doesn't already have one in his hand. But he has a BLS. And Snatch is gone. But mind control is going to put a stop to that. Stop BLS from running away with the game. Um, so yeah, Serpent has been added back to hand. 
Charity, good pickup. It's naturally going to do that sort of thing. Of greed. Unsurprisingly, the magician comes back, and then we're going to see charity. Probably going to discard the dark if he's got a chaos monster and just keep poking for damage. And another chaos monster is going to banish his again. But at this point, probably it doesn't matter because there's a second dark in the graveyard. And there's that chaos monster. Lucas does not have another magician because all of his copies have. That was the last copy in his deck. And fire back, and Lucas concedes. Because that was probably a mail force or something to send back there. Yeah, so it was something. So Thunder Dragon. <clears throat> Just gonna fire off the duo. Hope that you hit something. Don't hit a thunder dragon. But he does hit a thunder dragon. So yeah, so Tomato gets Sangan, which gets into Magician. So both players losing into Quichi. So let's see if that's a wow mind control. To bait out the and they also playing around trap dust shoot, but mind control is going to wow. <laughs> they reading that Lucas has got magicians everywhere, so yeah. Wow, solemn is going to force the mill force to it. There's the other magician. Is it going to hit a magician? No, it's going to hit a reaper. Uh, Lucas going for serpent beatdown. But it leaves him wide open to a double hit from Black Luster Soldier. But now the storm has settled and that magician is resolving. And Upstart picks up the charity, which is going to this yeah. Discuss. What's he going to banish? Um, yeah, I think you do banish Serpent here and then just attack with the face. Set a card and. Yeah, 
Missed attack. Yeah, and I would not be surprised if a solemn gets flipped. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Mirror Force is gone, but yeah, I think you had to go for it. Force up the draw because Mirror Force is gone. There's a snatch. Because if you, if you attacked, you will force up the draw. Yeah, if, if you attacked, you force up the draw. So, yeah, so I'm a bit surprised that Lucas made that play. But, oh well, he made the play. He, he probably didn't, like, he, yeah, he had to attack and force the draw there. But anyway, it is what it is. So, yeah, we have George against Blave in the finals. Um, so this particular game will be in two batches, so so yeah, they're probably like, oh, have you sent the replays over? Oh, oops, I need to hide hands, sorry. So, set. Blade Knight is going to come in. And the whole. And get buffed to 2000. And let's see what. But Mill 4 says no. And Magician gets banished. Um, Dave going right. I, yeah, Blade going right. I am probably never going to resolve Magician here, so I will let, let her get banished. Oh, the Haunt is going to bring back um, Blade Knight in the end phase to avoid getting hit by a uh, Regeki Break, but it slams right into a Spy. So. Warrior Lady is probably going to banish one of the spies. Sasuke. Oh, yeah. So, it worked out in the end. So, let's see what Blade Knight is going to slam into this time. Ooh, MST. Probably a magician then. The fact they used MST then for me suggests it's a magician. So. Wow. So, yeah, Mystical Space Saffron is going after. I think it was a fresh set. Yeah, so no, he's gone for not a fresh set. Breaker is going to come down. Probably going to swing over the Kaiku, then main phase to break the Call of the Haunted if he's feeling, feeling up for it. And he does exactly that. Oh, okay. So he pops a set card to force the Chaos Sorcerer through. But yeah, amazing. That MST really hitting the right cards. So, Lave is going to. But yeah. Have to stop the Exiled Force. And that's going to stop lights. That's all the lights gone from. Um, Lave's graveyard. By. Put it in defense to play around mill force and now that is exile force is gonna come down and kill the chaos sorcerer but wow but george is picking up the blade knight and forcing out a ring of destruction So let's see 
I think that set cards was actually something. So, um, yeah, that's still vulnerable to um, late night. So, yeah, Chaos Turbo having to T set. Yep, so setting a card to play one potential trap does shoot. Snatch steal. I would be surprised if he went. Oh, he's going for the mill. Okay. Wow, and the mill gets with the charity. So, yeah. Um, Blave is definitely getting hit by does shoot if George has it. He's going to keep poking and mill. And then once again, he's going to. <laughs> Dear God. So, trap does shoot is. <laughs> oh! Well, yeah, that's a bit rough. Like, yeah. Losing Trinity to Donza Luke, pretty much outside of. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Milf was getting hit. Yeah, I think you had to go for that. You, you're definitely making that play. But yeah, this is the part where Chaos Turbo. If, if it draws the game out, it comes to a stage where the warrior player does is eventually going to have not so not so many resources. Trap dash it comes down. Uh, Nobleman, Suku, double thunder dragon. Uh, probably Suku is going to get returned to the deck. But now he's just going to do it. Summon and just attack. His old dashes have gone. So yeah, that was quite cra that was quite a crazy game, uh, but yeah, um, Blade putting through right at the end. But George opening up with duo, pot, yeah. Already so far ahead, but that's going to get a, a dark in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So George having a really, really strong opening, um, forcing Blave to do that desperado play. And get the chaos sorcerer stolen. So, so Sangan is, <laughs> yeah. Then asking you what you're grabbing off. So T set from Blave. Mystic Swordsman comes down. Are we going to see something that's going to deal with? Are we going to see a battle trap here? Wow. Sing. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really. Not. I prefer actual back row hate, but it does the job. Just freeze out, yeah, freeze out back row decks. 
So Blade Knight's going a big swing. So Sombrera is going to attack over the Blade Knight. Um, but yeah, that's a light that Blade needs for whatever he needs. Are we going to see a battle trap here? No, we're not. And Saku is going to come down. But Solon's going to stop that from going through. So that's the problem with Swordsman is that. Um, that's the other problem with Sombrera, in that if you can't find a way to get rid of combat, if you can't take advantage of it, then it's just going to be sitting there and like, yeah, so banish the swordsman. Interesting, that's quite interesting actually, because in case you, in case you, ah, oh, that's why, you're, you're sitting a monster, that's why. I'm going to have a think. Gaku Break is going to deal with the Snatch Deal. Magician is going to come back. So if Blave draws something that he can put onto the field, then he will do it. But he clearly does not. He's chancing Dush. Yeah, oof. <laughs> yeah, so you have to solve them there. Oof. Um. I th yeah, I think you just got a swing. Wow, big swing. Uh, two. 1k, 4k, yeah, that's game. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's game one. So, I need to hide the hands, game two. So, yeah, this is game two, where Blade won his match, but because he's he gave him loser side, so George has another chance to... Yeah. Uh, and that's not a bad start to do so. Serpent is going to. Yeah, so he's he's done that so that the serpent doesn't get dash, hit by dash shoot. Yeah, so. Yeah, now you're forced to get back serpent, unless you got a monster. Ah, oh, wow. So yeah. So, okay, so he just drew the card on the left, so the card that, so it's Mirror Force, Nobleman, and Sorcerer, and one unknown that was drawn off the um, jar. Yeah, you definitely take the Mirror Force hit, you don't flip the Mirror Force yet, jar of greed. Expecting another dust shoot. So George is going for it. Unsurprisingly, he has a solemn. And he hits a dead Chaos Sorcerer. Ring is going to seal the deal. Yeah, I've misplayed his Serpent. Yeah, so... 
Yeah, so it's like, yeah, I made a misplay there. I kind of read the dust shoot. But, you, but the thing is that you see the Kaiku, so you're like, kind of had to go for it. Upstart is going to. Let's see if George remembers to take the 1000. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> now he gets reminded. Wow. Really camping on the. Yeah, that's the thing though. That's probably the only play they've had. So, yeah. Upstarts. Are we going to see something to do with that monster? Torrential is going to... Wow! And that's going to banish the serpent. Yeah, Sing is dead. Yeah, it's pretty rough with your um, blade right now. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably do it something there. Let's see what he calls. Heads. Oh, and he gets a heads. But he gets the magician because the set monster was a Sangen. So, yeah, you don't really have magician. Yeah, so that's. Wow. Let's see what Dust Tornado hits. Does it hit the book? It does hit the book. M Mirror Force is the only card left, but I think if you're... George, you just go for it. Good game. So yeah, uh, very, very well played. Yeah, it's a bit rough from uh, Blave. He had double Chaos also. So yeah, um, congratulations to George for his Obelisk 10 win. And I am going to go through the deck list very quickly. So yeah, um, Blave running standard Chaos Turbo. Um, clearly messing with us here. He's got, he put in, he's only running 13 11 cards in the side deck. <laughs> but yeah, interesting that he's got, he's, I, I think probably taking inspiration that one Solemn, you, you thin the deck so much that you draw to your only copy of Solemn. And that pretty much sealed the deal. Um, Shristella with Library, FTK, um, fun idea with Fire Princess, um, idea being that you should be able to gain enough life, but I I considered it when there was the um, Slifer 400 special, but I felt that you needed to have the Fire Princess to be able to, to play spell, 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 or you need to have Fire Princess and Spell Absorption. Yeah, um, another library from Bay. Uh, I need to have a look. Y yeah, so spellbook organization, as you can see, uh, look at the top three cards in any order, then return, return to the top of the deck in any order, so that actually combos well with Archfiend's Oath. You also have card shuffle, pay 300 shuffle, another life point, life point card. Also running the Fire Princess idea. 
Um, cool side deck choice of a way of revealing light. So, can't can't declare attack the turn is summoned. So it's a floodgate. Um, yeah, not really too much with this list that I can see. I'm trying to see if there's something different about about it. Um, I mean, I think Trisella's list is a bit more standard, whilst um, Fey already has World's Invite, so playing around. Chaos Turbo, uh, Ghost Rider, I believe this is quite similar to the list that he popped up on 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 a YouTube channel he featured, YouTube video he featured on. Double Suku, Morphing Jar, I actually really like Morphing Jar, he doesn't run Deco, which, which is I guess the idea is that you you're already drawing so much with card destruction, and in fact he's because he's going down the card destruction morphing jar route, so drop down to one kill sorcerer. Um, don't actually mind that at all. Cool G reckless greed idea. He was playing around with that. Um, Lucas the heretic. Um, pretty standard kill turbo list. Um, let's see. If, I mean. I, yeah, he's the only one that I can see that's running Phoenix Wing Wing Blast, which has got a recent recent popularity surge given how popular the mirror match is. Um you can spin away Chaos Monsters if you can see that the graveyard doesn't have the right attributes, or you spin away spin away a monster, or you spin away a card that, that they set the turn, you spin away a back row, you know that they're not going to that back row is probably going to be one turn too late. Um, side to spies, probably for yeah, probably to come in when you're facing warrior, um, Mobius. Um, interesting trend is that you're not. I'm not sure if Blade ran MST. Okay, Blade ran MST, but Ghost Rider and Lucas do not. Um, and yeah, as I t as we saw in the feature match, bottomless trap hole, pretty cool cards if. If you can pull it off, it's one of those, um, one of those ones where, you, where you decide, kind of like what you prefer, whether you prefer to draw into something that's going to be live when you draw into it, or whether you have to draw the card, um, have it before, they do, they do something, and that seems to be pretty common trend in goat format, and probably one of the reasons why, if bottomless trap hole did, did what torrential tribute does. Then maybe you might see more play, um, but when when it's not so good against against Flip Chaos Chaos Turbo because we have ignition monster effect priority, um, but obviously good against warriors. Um, here's the winning warrior list, um, pretty much inspired by Lucas Lucas himself. <laughs> um, I am. Um, Oh, no Chaos Sorcerer, which does make sense. Um, well, Lucas and Moxie's um, inspired the winning Chaos Warrior lists that we are more than familiar with, which drops Book of Moon and uses Dust Tornado to clear back rows to stop people from doing stuff. Um, yeah, as we saw, um, Sasuke Samurai, cool tech card, um, no tribe at all. Um, because you don't always have a discard fodder, so that does make sense. Um, yeah, and um, I love Cecilia Kochi, or um, yeah, he, he also played Warrior. Interestingly enough, only one Blade Knight, but he runs his funky anti hand stuff, so he's actually got drop off. Um, time seal, magic green to some extent as well, and uh, cool tech bottomless. Um, yeah, and he runs a small. Um, we've seen uh, we've seen swarm of locusts before, it because it comes in handy for being able to pop level limit area B and those sorts of store cards that people tend to side in against against warrior, and then uh. Swarm of Scarabs is the monster version. Um, yeah, pretty, 
pretty cool idea. I think, yeah, yeah. Um, and MB ninety six Chaos Return. If I'm not mistaken, this is inspired by a more recent list. Um, one bazoo is probably probably more of a tech card because you're already able to banish a whole bunch of monsters anyway, pretty easily. Um, yeah, so it's just drops drop bazoo if you if you need to if if you feel like you're able to go for a massive game push. Um yeah, pretty standard idea and then yeah he's got he's got um Archery and Soldier as a being a fiend type is is better so that you can normal summon it alongside Chaos Sorcerer and not get board wiped by a tribe. So yeah, um that is everyone list um, I, I'm not seeing anything very very um, or unusual except from um, Mr. Gardy's list over here um, so yeah if you have stayed on for this long thanks for tuning in um, the next video will be Obelisk 11 which I will definitely aim to sort out before yeah before uh, before worlds um, that's the last obelisk we had um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video